Hello everybody, my name is Zen, and welcome to my first impressions of Striving for Light Survival, which is another one of these vampire survivor clones. Figured I'd end the year with, uh, with a good one. Maybe, we'll see. I've never seen anything past a few screenshots of this game, uh, as with all of my other first impressions, and we're just gonna jump in, check it out. I'm a, I'm a lover of vampire survivals, and I actually really, really love all of the clones that have come out. Uh, about 90% of them. I think there's maybe one that hasn't been great. So I'm really excited to kind of check out what we got here. I'm going to play with controller, but I do have mouse keyboard uh, ready to go just in case because you never know. So what do we got? We got uh, unknown wanderer, uh, balanced talents, and we got, okay, so both unknown wanderers. There's also Derekin. Okay. There's other, basically other characters that I don't have unlocked. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, we'll just start with him. Uh, we get a light staff and a short sword. Okay, cool. What's the light staff do? Anything special? Nope. Chaos. What is that? In chaos mode, you will play with a random character, random weapons, and random skills. Shape the, the chaos and comp uh, compete in separate leaderboards. Ooh, there's leaderboards. Where all players face the same odds. No unlocks needed for chaos mode. Interesting. Uh, choosing skills. Okay, so we got different skills down here. Melee hits uh, create scattering projectiles on enemy hits. That sounds pretty good. Explosive hit. Your melee attacks cause an explosion uh, area scales with AOE size. Damage scales with your melee damage. Okay. Poison shot. Yeah, it's poisons. Meteor cast. Your range hat attacks have a 50% chance to cast a meteor to a random area. That actually sounds pretty cool. Attack speed minus 10% though. 50% chance to happen. Uh, Clash of Steel. Melee attacks have a chance to create blades which cut through your surroundings. Okay. Wolf Companion. Scattering Projectiles. Bleeding Sorrel. Exploding Dodge. And Projectile Multiplicator. Projectiles are multiplicated. Uh, each multiplication s uh, stack adds a new shooting direction. Attack speed minus 20%. That's interesting. I think we're going to go with... Um, well, I don't know. Meteor? Let's try the meteor. The meteor sounds fun. All right, choose map. Basement, level one. Cool. Let's do it. Is that, is that all I need to do? How do I how do I select? Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't. I, I think that added stuff. Okay. Yeah. So basic vampire survivor type thing. Auto attacks, and you just position and kill stuff. Uh, very unique art style. <laughs> I've not seen an art style like this, uh, especially in this genre. And I have three hits until I'm dead. Okay, I see the hearts up there. Interesting moths. Not sure if I like that. All right, first level up. Um, am I able to? I, I can do it with controller. All right, toggle skills. You could temporarily deactivate skills to maintain your attack speed. Skills can be reactivated at any time. Oh, that's interesting. Increase your attack speed by or, or toggle skill on off. Okay. Okay, so we got like a um, we got like a sphere grid here. Increase attack speed, flood each six seconds. A flood is erupting from you, dealing twenty damage to surrounding enemies. Actually, that sounds super good. Let's go with that. Cool. Oh, and it's like expands outward. This is very interesting. This is a weird way of doing it, right? So like, vampire survivors, for example, they have the system where you level up. And when you do, you get to pick uh, from a selection of skills. This is just like a, you have a sphere grid and you go through it and you can actually kind of build towards specific things. I find that fascinating and a really cool change. And that's the thing that I've said with all of these, like, um, we've played, I think five on the channel now <laughs> this year. Um, and we're closing out 2023 with one. And I think that out of all of them, none of them have done something like this. Um, and I've, I've been saying constantly, like you have to do something different to, to stand out from everybody else. And I think that this is a really cool way of doing that. Cool. Uh, next wave. Wait, do I hit next wave? What do I hit? Select next wave. Unused skill points. Wait, go back. Oh, I have unused. Wait, how many do I have? Is that okay? Is that sh showing I have one so I can put more in? Increase my max health. I can increase the attack speed. That sounds pretty nice. Additional projectiles. Um, double hit, increase projectiles, burning projectiles. Sure, let's do that. That sounds cool. Oh yeah, now I see. Deactivate. Uh, deactivate an active skill by right click. This can be helpful to maintain your attack speed. 
Oh, I see, because each of these can have a negative effect. Like that one's attack speed minus 10. This is attack speed minus 10, but I think we should be okay with what we got. Let's try it. Uh, next wave. Very interesting. I'm curious to see what these like exploding projectiles do. It's also interesting that you've got like this melee and ranged, like two separate things as opposed to just leveling up, uh, you know, specific skills. So you got these like two damage buckets. You've got your, your melee and your ranged, which means you could kind of go all in on different ones. Interesting way of doing it. All right, we've survived two out of 20 waves. Um, let's just increase my attack speed and we'll get that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with as many increased range projectile or re projectile range, sorry. Sure, we'll increase that too. I have no real plan of where I'm going. I'm just trying to get some passives to just increase the baseline stuff. I like having two projectiles. That's pretty nice. Doubles your damage. That creepy spider. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, the, the the design, the enemy design on this is a little, <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little creepy. I apologize for any snottiness that I got. I, I, I'm sick, got home uh, yesterday after being out all day yesterday. I just felt like garbage. Um, oh, I'm just trying to survive waves. Oh, I see. It's a timer, so I'm not leveling up. I'm just trying to collect as much stuff per wave as possible. And uncollected light fragments convert to elite enemies. Oh my goodness. That's very interesting. Again, let's change it up. Let's do new stuff. Let's 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 go crazy here. I love that kind of stuff. Uh double hit sounds interesting, but I want to do let's increase my movement speed. Um I could increase my max health by one, right? Because I have the hearts. Actually, it's not a bad idea. But um There is a part of me that's like, what's a fissure? Melee attacks have a 50% chance to create a, a traveling fissure. That's pretty cool. Scattering dodge. Do I have a dodge button? Your dodge throws two projectiles if ranged weapon has projectiles. Interesting. Increased area of effect. Let's get that. I'm just going to try to get as many like passive effects at the moment as I can. Do I have a dodge? What's the dodge button? Oh, okay. Left trigger is my dodge. That's actually really cool. Is it like a, um, okay. It does give me immunity frames, I believe. Like if I dodge through something, um, which means actually I can utilize that dodge to pick up some of these essences, right? Maybe not. Cause that definitely did not pick them up. Well, let's get in there and pick those up. I do not want elite enemies. Oh my goodness. There were so many there. That sucks. <laughs> All right, we got two more levels here. Let's increase our attack speed. Why is that not letting me do that one? Do I already have that one? Oh no, because I don't have this one yet. Sure, let's get the poison nova. Let's increase that next wave. All right, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this actually. It's very interesting. Complete wave four on any map. Unlock the weapon flail. Let's uh, let's move out of his way. That guy looks big and angry. Oh, I see. I, okay, so I got little dots at the bottom that show how many dodges I have, and it's on a recharge. Very interesting. Got 15 seconds left. I want to kill this elite if I can. That'd be nice. I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to try to collect as much as possible here. It's, it's like it's on a big map like these other clones are, right? I think I got that one. Beach time, complete way five in the basement. Unlock map, beach. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we'll get that area of effect and I will get that additional projectile. Cool. Um, yeah, like these other type of games have a, a large map generally that you can explore. A basically endless map in a lot of cases and that's that's an interesting concept because you could just like run in one direction. This is kind of cool because right now at least it is just a uh, it is just a room, which which really limits the way that you play and it changes the way that you play the game, right? Because now I'm sitting here instead of wandering around just trying to avoid monsters but also kill as many as I can while collecting experience. 
it means that I'm actually sitting here trying to min max the amount that I can pick up before the timer goes away. So cool. That's like such an interesting idea. Um, I have a third thing here. Let's go with critical hit on that one. Just kind of branching out this way, it seems. That's cool. The more I can pick up, the, the more I think I level up. So I'm going to try to be a little bit better at that. It's tough. Um, especially considering my dodge does not pick up the things. That would, that would be really clutch. And it would be... I mean, I think it would actually make it a little too easy. Because then you could just dodge through and grab everything. So there's like a big horde of enemies that just died with more in the middle of it. So there, there's a level of, of skill involved with picking this stuff up when you can't just dodge through everything and pick it up. I do have a heart on the left there that I could go get though. Okay, what do we got? Uh, complete wave 10 with less than 20 melee and projectile damage. Cool, sure. Uh, we can increase our max health, increase attack speed, melee construct. Your melee attacks create a melee construct instead of attacking directly. That sounds cool. Uh, let's pick that one up and head that direction. <laughs> See what that's like. Heal up with that heart. I think the more that I play this game, if I'm going to get real good at it, I will probably favor, uh, like large area stuff. If it continues being like this, because then I can more easily clear the enemies in order to get to the, the orbs and kind of keep things um, stacked up in a single area. If I could just kind of sit in that, that one area, that might be more ideal. I don't want no elite enemies. All right, two more. Let's go with the area of effect and go with the melee construct to see what that does. Oh, that's cool. So it leaves like little towers behind. Okay, so that kind of just goes into what I was just saying of like leaving an area behind that we can use as like a kill box to then just go around and collect stuff. That's cool. I like that. Though it is kind of keeping things a little more spread out than I'd like. <laughs> maybe because it's going off of my melee attack. So maybe if I kind of keep it more centralized, it'd be a little bit better. Yeah, that's working a little bit better. Keeping this stuff closer. This game is really cool so far, actually. It's um. I would say it's the most unique of all the ones that we've tried this year. What's that? Life leech? Yeah, we'll take some life leech. Why not? Uh, I like the idea of additional projectiles. What's that? Max health. I'm just going to kind of collect this outward. Um, I wonder if this is randomly generated, this stuff, per per character or per um, time that you play. You and your companions gain a permanent circle scythe applying bleeding hits. That sounds fun. Companions? Is it multiplayer? It might be actually. I'm not sure. Because Vampire Survivor's freaking amazing multiplayer. <laughs> it's so much fun. You're like yelling at each other because you know you're trying to stay grouped up and people are walking all around and it's a lot of fun. I play it with my kids. We have a blast every time we play. And it always gets really hectic towards the end. Those bones are not mine, so I gotta stay away from those. Are they bones? I guess they are. That's a big evil spider. This stuff. Okay, I killed the other big evil spider, but the big, big evil spider is trying to get it dead. I'm trying to utilize my melee attacks on it, like keeping the um, the constructs nearby. I mean, it seems to be working. It's almost dead. I want to get it before the timer goes. Can we? Do you think we can? I think we can. Pick all that up. Oh, it, it dropped like a, like a special thing. I wonder if that gives me more experience. Yeah, because now I have three points. I think it did that the last time too. Interesting. Uh, sure, we'll get a scattering dodge. I'm going to go with some increased attack speed. I'm going to pick up all of these over here. So the, the area of effect and attack speeds. And that area of effect and that max health. Like, it's just, it's just good over there. Oh, the projectiles spawn in. Now that we got all these extra projectiles. Yeah, this is like peak genre where it just gets chaotic on the screen at any given time. I love that kind of stuff. We're starting to get enemies that have a lot more life though. So I'm having to be a little bit more conscious about 
where I'm stepping at any given time while also utilizing my melee attacks. Because sure, the construct's cool and I think it's helping out a lot, but the, the key here is also utilizing my actual melee attack. Cause that does, that does damage too. And I need to be utilizing it if I can without getting hit. Although I did there. I'm not sure what that unlocked. I like how it just keeps telling me that I can deactivate skills. Yes, I know that. Thank you very much. Uh, you can enter attack speed. For example, every skill with the term attack speed will be highlighted. Where can I do that? Attack. Nope. No, I don't want to go back. <laughs> Search notes. Attack. Oh, that's cool. I can dig that. that that's really cool. So let's get both of these. Boom, boom. Next wave. Uh, let's pick up a heart while I can before I forget. Avoid their projectiles. I can see this getting very busy on screen. Um, too much so. The, the further we get into the game. Because it, the, this unique art style is already very noisy. There's a lot going on with it. Um, I'm having a hard time seeing what is actually my abilities versus theirs. But I like, I like that little telegraphed skill, the, the red, that thing, the red X that, that starts spinning. It's very wild star. I like that kind of stuff. I've been saying for years that more games need to utilize that telegraph system from Wildstar because it just is very clear and it means that your oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Um, it means that your your game can be a bit harder because it's it's telling the player exactly what's about to happen and it's relying on the player's skill to avoid it or to do something about it. So. This is actually one of my big gripes with the Dark Souls games, oh, Souls-like games, I should say, and a game like like Elden Ring, is sometimes their attacks from an enemy. Like the the idea is that you have to learn the attacks, and you just have to adjust. <clears throat> the more that you do it, and you remember, like, oh, that, that charge up ability that they're doing is going to do this attack, right? So like, it's relying on you to figure that out um, through trial and error. But why not just? make it so it, yeah like you got this like red x on the ground it's like so you see where it's going to be and that tells you exactly what you need to do because then you can make the skills that you're having to dodge like way bit more exciting <laughs> or a lot more difficult and it, it relies on the player skill a little bit more because the, the player isn't uh, having to fill in the gaps of like what this character might do you can you can see it you can see it clearly on the ground If you don't know what I'm talking about with Wildstar go check out. I don't know you probably just Google like Like uh, Wildstar Telegraph and I'm sure there's like a developer video that shows you I believe that there is one Otherwise, I think I've I've shown it on the channel too. Just could search the channel way back when for Wildstar stuff. I Love that game it's, it's a shame it did not live on, but there was a lot of factors in that. And I think in hindsight now too, this is like completely non sequitur um, to, to our discussion of this game. But I think a lot of the, you know, the like wild stars or the, oh, what was the other one that came out around that time? It was before, I don't remember the name of it. Um, it's just MMO game, uh, like, Burnout. People just didn't want those kind of games at that time anymore. They wanted something different. Totally fine. There's two elites here, I think. Now, I am doing a lot of damage, but at this point, I'm starting to realize that my damage isn't quite enough for their regular enemies. At least it doesn't feel like it. I'm not killing them as fast as I thought I would be at this point. So, I think what we do is we start going for big... Ooh, what's that? Got a refund. Um, I think what we do is we go for like bigger nodes now that I've gotten a bunch of the passive stuff and try to balance that out. I actually kind of like that. I like that there is a balance of you can't just go for all of the big skills. Like you got to go with some of the more boring passive stuff to keep your damage up. You have to do that anyway. And vampire survivors you can't just like get all of the best skills. There's also like I need attack speed or I need 
what is it? Area of effect abilities and stuff like that. It's very important. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm taking a bunch of damage here. But I'm trying to kill this big boy so we can get that extra skill point. Go for the extra skilled stuff. All right, what do we got? Level up. Hey, how far off am I from one? Uh, we got the fissure here. I got three net, three points. Let's go ahead and go for that. Um, there's another melee construct down there, so we can get. Maybe maybe that buffs it when we get a second one of the same. I don't know. We'll be able to get to it if I get another uh, two points, and then we can get to the double hit from there as well. All right, let's let's try to go down that direction. I guess. See what that. Oh, I see the fissure now. That's kind of cool. Getting all sorts of achievements too, at least in-game achievements. I got one Steam achievement like right at the beginning, but I don't know if I've noticed any of the other ones. Oh my goodness, my constructs also do the fissure. That is cool. That, that is. I just had my vampire survivors moment. You know what I'm talking. If if you've ever played that game. It's that moment when you realize you can combine uh, skills in that game and they create like uber powerful skills. And once you realize the combination system, like the, a whole new game unlocks for you. of like, oh, how do I min max like my skills and what I'm getting and what I'm picking? And then you get like the bands uh, during each uh, level. So you can like ban certain ones out. So you're reducing the likelihood that you're getting ones that you don't want, right? I just had that moment here where I'm like, oh, now I realize that because that is my quote unquote melee skill, the construct is my melee attack, right? It means that my melee attack affects all of the constructs, which is really powerful. So anything I get like the fissures that increase my melee stuff are increasing the fissure. Didn't even consider that when I picked up the construct. I just figured it would be like a little pet. I didn't figure it would it would then multiply all of my melee abilities. That's insane. That is so cool. Oh, I love that. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I can guarantee you I'm going to keep playing this game after we're done with this video. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Well, I'm glad you know what? I'm glad that I, I found this game and um, got a key for it because Trying to trying to focus here at the same time, talking, because I was kind of itching for for a good vampire survivors. I was I was actually about to go boot it up on my Switch. I own that game on like everything. Uh, let's get to that. So I got the two points right. So then let's get to the double hit. Is this on melee? Create additional melee attack when hitting an enemy. Triggers on all attacks and all hit effects. Damage scales with your melee damage. Ooh, that's so good. All right. So now that I'm assuming that is now working off of my constructs as well. So if I just kind of stack my constructs up, I just create like a little kill area because nothing can kind of get in here. Uh, the unfortunate thing is though, I, I gotta get out to pick these up and get back. I'm an aura, I could just create a little kill area and let the elites come and then get the XP off of the elites or the skill points or whatever we want to call it. I feel unstoppable now. I think I've cracked the game. That's fun. I'm totally down for this. I'm curious what the after level uh, progression is. Because typically in these games you get, you don't get through the first level, you die it's fairly early on. And then uh, you unlock something that's a permanent upgrade for you, which gets you a little bit further in, right? I just have two more waves to go. So I'm curious to see what what that's going to look like for this. Um, increased condition damage. Well, I'm not really putting conditions out, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, we, could, we could go for this double hit over here because we got another two, right? So we can get that one and I could try to get that other fissure on my next level up. I, I like the sphere grid. I think that that's very freeing and adds a lot to the game. Uh, it definitely adds a lot more strategy to how you how you put your points in, I feel, compared to you're trying to sit there and, you know, choose between like a maximum of five things that are randomly chosen for you. Uh, because once you crack that system and you realize how to min-max choice by getting certain things and waiting to get others, like 
let's say you get a skill in Vampire Survivors right off the bat that you that you want, but you're not getting the other ones that you want on subsequent level ups. Then you just keep putting the points into the one that you wanted and leveling that up until one of the other ones that you're looking for pops up and inevitably something does. And then you just repeat that process um, until you get down to like the last couple skills, which are typically kind of hard to get if you're looking for a very particular combination. Um, and that's when the bans come in where you're, you're banning things. Um, so the other ones don't show up anymore. And I like that. All right, let's get that fissure. We just got one more wave. Let's get that attack speed. Let's move on. I'm assuming this is the last way. Oh, we got like a full on boss. Nice. Just, I'm just going to keep moving. Oh, that spider got me. I wasn't expecting that. All right. The big, big spider, the widow has a uh, ranged projectile. It looked like at one point there. Do I keep grabbing these things? Maybe I should. I'm not sure. I got a minute left on this. Also, I don't like the widow. I live in an area where there are black widows, fairly common. And like we, we always have an area in our garage near like the garage door that they like to go like against the wall in the garage door. I've killed, I don't know, probably like at least 20 black widows in the last like year and a half. Not my favorite kind of creature, <laughs> especially when you have kids like I do. Got to keep an eye out for that stuff, especially because like, man, they get they get bold. They come out and they're like on the side of the house, like in bushes and whatnot. Sometimes and you don't realize they're there until you like go to take out the trash and you get like a flashlight. You're like, oh, goodness, look at that giant thing in that bush. And then you have to come back out with like poison. And that is the satisfying, though. You go out with the poison, you squirt it, kill it. It's great. OK, that was fun. Um, got achievements. So it shows us all the achievements that we got. Um, it asked me to enter my information for YouTube as a creator. So I put that in. So now we're on the leaderboard rank. I think that's interesting. Um, we can check that out real quick. So sure. Let's look at normal. Wow. People got a lot of XP on that one. Mine was 78,500. That person has 96,000. Uh, another YouTuber, a couple of them here. Interesting. I like that quite a lot. Where am I at? 280. I mean, for my first, my first play to be in the top 300. Cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a lot. Let's go back to uh, play, right? Let's see what unlocked. So this, this is unlocked. I like that. It tells me like I can unlock this guy by defeating the end boss on wave 20 on any map in tier one which I didn't do. I didn't have enough damage, but now I have like a throwing ax that I could choose. Um, there's also the hammer and the flail flail. Sounds cool. Got a bunch of other stuff down here. That's now out, which is cool. Um, increase collect range. Yeah, that's real nice. Can I, can I pop that one on collect range plus 20%? Sure. This is fun. I really, really enjoy this. I, I don't know if these games are scratching everybody's itch anymore for, for vampire survivor type games, man, this music is going hard. But this is right up my alley with that. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> I had a lot more fun with it than I thought I was going to, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below so it'll bring people into the channel, which can then, you know, have conversations with you guys in the comments about cool games like this. Lots of people down there already having cool conversations about cool games like this, so you can go down and leave a comment as well. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe in order to see my latest videos. I upload daily. I've uploaded a video every single day for the last 12 years, and I will continue to do that consistently because that's what I do. But with all of that being said, thank you for watching, and we shall see you all next time.